You see the park police helicopter just above us now. That again, the third helicopter could to come through and hover above the Navy Yard building 197. And in this case, they lowered the basket, perhaps dropping off uh, some equipment. And it doesn't appear that they lifted anything back up for now. Uh, and for now, we'll send it back to you. Okay, again, we're listening to, this is WJLA, an affiliate, and we want to go back to them as they're doing an interview with someone we believe that was inside the building. Let's listen. Yeah. But obviously, uh, you must have been a nervous man this morning. It was a fairly terrifying experience. Um, but that's when you, you think, that this is what we trained for this moment. Now, let's go. Let's do it. This is no drill. Okay. All right, that's it from here. Uh, reporting uh, live, Sam Ford, back to you. Okay, so there you have it, and, and you heard the words. It was a terrifying moment. Uh, again, it's a recap. 8.20 this morning, a shooting at the Washington Navy Yard, and this is a building where 3,000 people work there, and you just heard that from the reporter saying that employees that were already at work were told to shelter in place, hunker down, find a safe place, and stay there, and employees that were arriving obviously were not let in. They were held off uh, and remain at a safe distance as well. And again, the reports that among the injured and among the several injured reportedly a Washington, D.C. police officer. And that's what we have at this point. We know President Obama has been briefed several times on this situation. As you see, all the activity, all the law enforcement vehicles in and around this Washington Navy Yard. So, again, a very tense situation. We've been listening to different affiliates keeping us updated, affiliates that are on the scene there in, in Washington. We heard from WJLA, and we'll continue to get you new information as we get it. All right, uh, we're getting more information. Go ahead, Larry, a couple more notes. All right, we know this, that there's a ground stop at Reagan National Airport. Well, we believe because of this incident, but not, that is not confirmed at, at this point. All right, uh, more now from WJLA. Let's listen. Thank you. Okay, again, this is a fluid situation, and we want